Yo, what's up? It's the kid. It's the boy. If you didn't know. It's JD. And I'm Rosie. Hi. What's up? This is the itch. And we're here to review Street Fighter 5. So what is Street Fighter V? Street Fighter V is the uh, latest release from Capcom. Uh, it is the latest installment as well. Not chronologically, we'll get to that in Street Fighter. Yeah. But it is, um, it, it just recently came out for PS4 and PC. Oh. For that joint community-ish. Yeah, I can, cross screen? Yeah, it's cross, uh, cross platform. Pla cross platform. Yeah. That's wonderful. Um, so Street Fighter V takes place between Street Fighter IV and Street Fighter Three in the storyline. So um, I guess they, they did this to kind of be able to tap into Street Fighter 4 guys and some Street Fighter 3 uh, characters. Open that pool up. Yep. So like you're getting Urian, we're getting Alex. So we're going to get some pretty... I can't wait for Alex. Yeah. Yeah. This month or next month. Yeah. So we're getting some pretty, some pretty neat characters. Gameplay wise, and this is kind of the bulk of the video, uh, the game is essentially, a, you know, a simple... Uh, Street Fighter uh, version of Street Fighter. So if you play Street Fighter 3, you probably feel more at home because the game is a little bit more faster paced than 4. It, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> so you have access to uh, what's called the V skills. And V skills are kind of like, if anyone's played Injustice, they're that unique trait ability that that character has. Like Ryu's able to counter. Uh, Nash can absorb projectiles and get mm. meter from them. Um, Bison, I forgot what his was. Laura allows her, uh, allows her to like dash forward and back and do overheads, stuff like that. And in using this, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> in using, I'm not gonna say it. In using this V, Sun wants me to say that she's endowed, and she is. Um, yeah, she's quite the quite the curvy one. But she's my character, and I can't talk bad about her. She's but quite pretty. Shut up. In doing your V skill, which is kind of what the character is based around, you get um, you get build meter for your V trigger. And your V trigger allows you to do uh, a more amplified version of that character's trait. So like Ken, his his legs sort of go on fire and he has like more range on his attacks and fire stuff like that. Too, yeah. Too. yeah, so like even his light sure you can will light someone on fire. Uh, Laura has more access. Uh, her, her dash back and forth are much further and her uh, lightning attacks charge up faster. It's like that with every character. So um, the game is pretty much based around that kind of building the, the V skill and stuff like that. You also have access to what's called V reversals, which are alpha counters, essentially. If you oh. played Street Fighter Alpha, um, anytime someone's hitting on you too hard, you can spend one uh, bar of meter uh, and then you knock them off. Oh, okay. great. Yeah. I could have used that during the stream. Yeah, so it forces players to, <laughs> yeah. it forces players to have a, a greater sense of uh, wherewithal, being like, okay, hey, I can knock this guy, or this guy can knock me off of him, so I better pay attention to how I approach him. Okay. So it's a thinking man's game, son. Okay, I can think. Um, the game is, is All right. uh, according to, uh, I guess, uh, Street Fighter Four enthusiast, uh, more simplified. Yeah. But I think that's probably its benefit. That yeah, it takes because you back then you get more days. people to jump in. Yeah. Not three people afraid of the game. Well, it's it's really a fundamentalist game. So if you have a good defense, good offense, and you know, kind of like a situational awareness, you're going to really be able to, to thrive in this game. How many characters are in this game? There are 16. Uh, with, uh, by the end of this year, 22. There's 16 so, currently? Yeah, there's 16. There's four newcomers. So you got Nikali, Laura, Rashid, and Fang. And they're all unique in their own right. And then you have a couple characters from Alpha, like Karen and uh, Nash, who plays a little bit differently, is not a charge character. And then um, okay. you get you get other characters like uh, Chun Li mainstays: Chun Li, Cami, Ryu, uh, Dawson, Geef, the boy Geef, Geef. Yeah, no Blanca. Who cares? So anyway, <laughs> there's 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 a lot of um, diversity in the characters, and in, in the sense that they focus more on uh, quality over quantity, uh, which I can say is, is a definite plus. It feels yeah. like when you play a character, they are that unique character. There's a clear difference between them. Ken and Ryu don't play the same. They do not. <laughs> um, so let's get to visually. Visually, it looks good. I love the intro cinematics to begin with. Everything looks pretty. It looks all the colors are very vibrant. <laughs> the, look at the colors, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at the colors, bro. Yeah, no. The game uh, runs, if I remember correctly, off of the Unreal Engine. So that's kind of a big thing with like sh uh, with uh, lighting and shading and stuff like that. You can see it in like the SRKs when you get lit on fire all those times. Um, it's a, it it shows. Yeah. <laughs> There's a clear uh, yeah. emitting of lighting. Um, or like when uh, when you get like crush counters and stuff like that. That nice little spark and when she's just like, yeah, you which, hear that sound. Exactly. Oh god, it's very satisfying. 
Um, which kind of brings me to the sound. Yeah. Uh, Sound-wise, the game feels like an arcade. I, I believe Eric mentioned it. It feels very arcadey. Ironically, never having an arcade release. Um, but it also has pretty decent music. I love the music. That, yeah. that uh, like I said again, the intro music, the intro to the when you're trying to get a character. I'm like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna fight. <laughs> We're gonna fight right here. Oh, God. We're gonna street fight. <laughs> Pugilist, <laughs> mate. <laughs> um, so there's there's that uh, that sense of like really amping up and feeling like the game is part of something bigger, yeah. uh, which is great. Um, which brings me to the pros and cons. Let's do it. I'll be quick. Uh, pros: the game functions very well. Um, early tier lists um, kind of conclude that the game is relatively balanced. Uh, the the tier list has people so close together that it's really hard to be like, oh, if you play this guy versus this guy, you're clearly going to win. Okay, great, because mashups in 354 were getting a little bananas. Yeah, some of them were just really clear victories over others, and in this game, it doesn't seem like that. Um, some characters that may we may look at as bad right now just don't have an, uh, tamp, uh, tapped into potential, like Fang or Dulcine. I mean, we're still touching the tools. We don't know everything yet. Someone yeah. might find something that's just kill it. Yeah. So there's that. Uh, the game looks great visually. Uh, the, game, uh, the game also has a great uh, uh, sound behind it, whether it be music or the actual effects itself. Um, for pros, not necessarily mine, but thinking of the community, um, there isn't really an emphasis on a single player. Uh, this is a more competitive fighter. So the, the emphasis is on online play, and that might turn some people off. To the concept of you know maybe just wanting to come home and just play against the computer a couple times. You don't really have that option outside of survival mode or story mode for a couple matches. Uh, which brings me to another con, which is surprising. Um, if you play fighting games for story, you might be a little disappointed because there isn't really too much here. Uh, the story, the entire story, comes in June. Right now, when you play story mode, you kind of get a work up to that story. May I ask you then, would you recommend people probably buying this game later then? Um, we'll get to that. Okay. Uh, but ultimately, uh, the story and the fact that it doesn't really cater to a single player audience isn't really, hasn't really been Street Fighter in the first place, in my opinion. Um, but if that's what you look for, then as far as recommend, uh, recommendations go, I wouldn't recommend it to someone who is more of a story based gamer or who doesn't play fighters and is going, hey, I just want to fight against the computer all the time or something. You're not going to find that here. You're better off playing maybe uh, Tech and Tag, uh, <laughs> Virtual Fight, um, uh, Mortal Kombat, you know, Guilty Gear, things like that. Um, <clears throat> but if you're a uh, fighting enthusiast, the, the interesting thing about the uh, community is uh, fighting games are really binary in that sense. If you're if you're really interested in Street Fighter, you don't need me to tell you to buy it. But I am saying buy it if you like Street Fighter. But if you're not really into Street Fighter, you're probably not going to buy this one. And can I say, would you recommend this to be some people's first entry? Because a lot of people are afraid that, you know, people are so savage on that game. Well, um, that game that game was probably Street Fighter 4. Right. Street Fighter 5 is more of a fundamental game. Okay. Um, so if you're if you're looking to get into fighting games, I would say pick this game up for 60 bucks, probably in March when they release a little bit more content uh, for like uh, unlocking other costumes and stuff like that and uh, Alex uh, drops. But if you're really waiting to jump into it, get it now, who cares? Yeah. Um, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't and I don't really understand the controversy. Oh, I, I do. I, there's no Blanca. I'm JD. And I'm Rosie. And this is The Itch. Thanks for watching. Peace.